this is my only last competitive outlet. You know, I didn't do well at golf. I wasn't fast enough to play basketball. So here I am in real estate competing. You know, that's that's how I see it. Yeah, I just closed one today that, you know, um, I'm really proud of. That's my 81st closing of the year. Good. You know, Good number. Yeah, it is. Um, we're really proud of that. And I just, wanna, I just want to let you know, I mean, I've told you this before, but I want, I, want people, I want people that are watching to really know that the freedoms that you've given me and the encouragement and, you know, um, guidance that you were – you were willing to give me has made all the impact. I mean, it really has. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate that. That actually, on your list of questions here, you, you talk about what what is success in the real estate world. Yeah. Well, Remax 8's motto or is that we're here to provide the foundation for your real estate success. Yeah. And your real estate success is determined by you. You know, whether it's selling 20 houses a year and making enough money to take your family on European vacations or do what you want to do, if that's what your goal is and you can achieve that, I want to provide that foundation at Remax 8 for you to do that. Uh, or if you want to sell 100 houses, I want to be able to provide that foundation for you. But it's not only you selling. When I say your real estate success at Remax 8, it's not just people selling what if you are your goal is to be the best real estate photographer in the new river valley to be the best real estate closing coordinator in the new river valley the customer service representative there there are other parts of the business not just the sales that we have people at remax 8 that are you know enjoying and doing and achieving their description of success so yeah i agree with that for sure I think that, um, you know, I want to encourage anybody that is considering a career in this field to come talk to us. I mean, um, this th I, I really feel like this company is at the forefront of everything that's going to happen in the real estate in the future. Like, you know, the the level of experience you have within your brokerage is – I don't think can be compared. I don't think, I don't think the the level of commitment, the level of care that is put into this business can be matched at any other company. Well, I appreciate that. I mean, I've been in the trenches for 26 years, and I also follow all of the national news and trends. So. I want to stay abreast of what's coming down the pipeline. What things are going to change? What new technology? technologies do we need to be looking at you know what's what's happening with i buyers and you know is that is that going to affect us yeah just staying on top of it so that you don't get blindsided by a change in the industry yeah and some of the other companies probably aren't paying attention to that so. yeah see there's there's a there's something to this thing about being one step ahead being one step ahead is is all you've got to be. If you're five steps ahead, then you you might not you might not get the traction or like people might not understand you if you're that far ahead. You know, tell me about it. Way 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 back when when texting was first just getting going, I spent a ton of money on those little signs that went on all my list on all the listings that said text to this number and you know the information will come to your phone. Yeah. Well, nobody did it. Yeah. I mean, but that was probably mm, 2002. Yeah. You know, it just it didn't so, make so, sense. So today, they would prefer to do that than actually have to talk to somebody. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. But still talking to people is really important. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, yeah, people get really frustrated when they're trying to get an answer right away and they can't get it. Yeah. So. And I built, you know, I built the majority of my business, as you know, actually calling people that didn't sell their property. Like physically talking to them. Some of my biggest scores have been cold calling expired listings. Right. So, you know, if I was to text those people, they might not have responded. Right. But hearing my voice and, and understanding the passion that I had behind this business and how I could help them, 
I think that that, you know, that was a key factor in me building, you know, a business that could hold, you know, 80 transactions a year, you know, or more. So, um, so yeah, I mean, I just feel like uh, this has been so rewarding for me and like what I've been able to achieve. And I just, I just continuously give you credit for that. Mm-hmm. And, and I, I want others to know that. I want well, others to know hard, that. You work hard, Scott. You yeah. do. You work a lot of hours. Yeah. And you follow your plan. Yeah. You put your time in and doing your prospecting. You know, other people think the phone's just going to ring. You send out one mailer and the phone's going to ring. That doesn't work like that. Yeah. You got to keep prospecting, prospecting, prospecting. And really where I made big leaps in my business was when I understood the data. I not even understood it when I got the data. So w- once I realized that it was 40 transactions or 40 conversations per one transaction, then it became scalable. Then I could like track it. You know, I, once I knew that if I didn't follow up with a lead within five minutes that I was going to lose them. Right. Once I understood all that data, I was really able to go after it. You know, I really started like being a student of this game, you know. And when I say the game, you know, this, the real estate for me is like the ultimate competition, you know, as you know. Like I want the stats every month. I yeah. want I want to know what everybody else is doing. I want to be informed of like who's who's coming. You know, I want to know who's doing what and how they're doing just so I can kind of gauge where I am. You know, it's a competitive This is my only last competitive outlet. You yeah. know, I didn't do well at golf. I wasn't uh-huh. fast enough to play basketball. So here I am in real estate competing, you know? That's that's yeah. how I see it. You know? How do you how do you go about things like that? Are you that competitive, or did, were you just blind to whatever you, whatever life you wanted? Were you just blind to it all? Um, I think as I've gotten older, it's become more of a I'm doing this because this is where I'm going with my life, and this is what I want to provide for my family and those around me, which yeah. are the people that work at Remax Eight, uh, and. You know, but before, when I was in my 20s and 30s, it was probably more of a numbers game. Yeah, It just changes with maturity. Now it's more about succeeding and uh, to provide for everyone around me. And I know that you know, success is going to come because I'm doing the right thing for everybody around me. Yeah. You know, so the foundation's there. Yeah. 